If I told you that you had specific types of bacteria in your gut that were almost magically making you gain weight, would you think I'm crazy? Honestly, the truth is, is that we're starting to find that it really is the case. Okay, we knew for a long time that different gut bacteria would trigger cravings. I mean, sure, that's kind of been known for the last decade or so. But now we're actually seeing that specific kinds of gut bacteria, particularly gram-negative bacteria in our gut, actually trigger inflammation in our bodies that make us achy, make us swollen, give us brain fog, and dramatically increase our weight. So let's talk about how this works, and let's talk about some ways that you can start fixing it so that you don't have to battle this. You are tuned into the internet's leading performance, nutrition, and fat loss channel with new videos on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. There's a red subscribe button that I need you to hit, and then I want you to pound that little bell icon so you can turn on notifications and know whenever I go live. Now, I wanna make sure that you check out Mudwater down below. So Mudwater, these guys are really cool. So I met them and they told me about their whole story. Their whole story is about helping people get off of caffeine. Now, I know how much you guys love caffeine, how much you love your coffee, but sometimes you're trying to wean off of it or you just want something that you can have in the afternoon. So Mudwater has put together a pretty cool group of compounds that actually can help you get off of caffeine, but more importantly, just give you a substitute. Talking things that are still gonna give you that pick-me-up, but not completely send you over the edge like caffeine would. So I encourage you to check them out. Plus, they're also just doing great things for the community and they're doing great things for the world. Now, let's get into some science. You see, our gut bacteria is different when we're overweight. Literally, what we're seeing is that if we are overweight, the species of gut bacteria that we have are completely different than the species of gut bacteria that lean people have. And more often than not, the obese people or people that are overweight, their gut bacteria usually has pro-inflammatory properties, which means that it's gut bacteria that's actually going to make them even more overweight and also make them feel really cruddy. You see, there was one study that was published in Nature Journal. Took a look at 77 pairs of twins. Okay, now with these pairs of twins, one twin was lean and one twin was obese. So what was really interesting is that they found that the obese group had a completely different style of bacteria, a whole bunch of different species. Now the other thing that was interesting is that the obese group had a lower diversity when it came down to the species of bacteria. So they had less of the overall different kinds of bacteria than the lean group had, and they had different kinds than the lean group altogether. And I'm gonna to get to this a little bit later because it's all gonna make some sense, but that's very, very important to know. But when we start looking at ways to fix that, there was a study that was published in the journal Nutrients that found that some known and potential probiotics actually could have anti-inflammatory effects that could actually result in some weight loss. So what they actually had found is that mice that were fed prebiotic fibers that would actually grow the good bacteria ended up having a decrease in their weight gain and they also had reduced insulin levels. Obviously, that's gonna perpetuate and make it so that these mice wouldn't gain more weight, but they also just wouldn't have inflammatory issues to begin with. Now, where does this all come from though? Like, what is actually triggering the inflammation and what is not? Well, you see, when we look at gut bacteria, we have to know that there are two different kinds we really need to pay attention to, gram-positive and gram-negative. Now, they live together in harmony, and a good degree of gram-negative bacteria are totally fine to have. But the thing is, gram-negative bacteria, when they start to grow too much and we start to have too much overall uh, gram-negative bacteria, that's when we run into a situation where our bodies are unhealthy. You see, we usually have an overabundance of gram-negative bacteria when we have some kind of infection going on or we're sick or if our diet is just completely off the rocker. See, gram-negative bacteria have this particular thing in their outer membrane. It's known as a lipopolysaccharide. And the cool thing is lipopolysaccharides in small amounts can actually do some good things. But when we have too much of the gram-negative bacteria, those lipopolysaccharides can leach off of the bacteria and actually leach through our intestinal tract and get into the bloodstream where they incite an inflammatory response. They stimulate inflammatory cytokines to do their jobs and instill inflammation throughout the body, making us achy, making us sick, making us overweight, and flat out making us miserable. Now the cool thing is that lactobacillus, which is a type of probiotic, a type of bacteria, is actually showing signs at getting rid of those lipopolysaccharides, or at least reducing them. And I'll touch on that in just a second. But just to show you the magnitude of what a lipopolysaccharide can do within your body, here's an interesting study. So the Journal of Diabetes published a study that showed that mice that were given a lipopolysaccharide injection ended up almost instantly gaining weight, but also having an increase in blood sugar. So literally, these lipopolysaccharides that come off of the gram-negative bacteria have like this amazing, almost magical effect on the body to have it trigger a bunch of inflammation. 
So even mice that didn't have a change in bacteria but were just given the immediate lipopolysaccharides ended up gaining weight and having an increase in blood sugar. You see, the Journal of Alimentary Pharmacology and Therapeutics published a study that found that 30 human test subjects that actually took in a lactobacillus ended up having a reduction of their lipopolysaccharide levels. Now, these were test subjects that had cirrhosis of the liver, so they probably had some good inflammatory markers going on in the first place. But when they were given lactobacillus, their lipopolysaccharide levels decreased, which shows that if we start getting the good bacteria in and we start having the growth of the good bacteria and that perfect, good, perpetual cycle going, then we can start fighting inflammation at a whole different level. So you might be wondering what the heck you can really do. In my opinion, one of the best things that you can start to do is start to get the good amount of prebiotic fiber in your diet, meaning consuming the asparagus, consuming the artichokes, the things that are going to allow the good bacteria to grow. Now, the caveat to that is if you have a large amount of gram-negative bacteria, those prebiotic fibers are going to grow that too. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get yourself in a gram-positive bacteria skew. You want to make sure your gram-positive bacteria is a little bit higher. The way that you're going to get there is you're going to practice some fasting. You can do a little bit of the ketogenic diet, but you can also add some probiotics into the mix whenever you need to while you're doing those protocols. That will at least temporarily bring you into the right balance, and then you add in a bunch of asparagus, a bunch of artichoke, and a bunch of things like that so that you can grow that ratio. You set the ratio to gram-positive being more than gram-negative, and then you fertilize it with the prebiotic bacteria, and it grows like that. So as always, make sure you're keeping it locked in here on my channel. If you have ideas for future videos or questions on this one, put them down in the comments below. See you soon.